Hello everyone and welcome to my guide on how to play the Stanley Parable Original Half-Life 2 mod. I'll walk you through the individual steps. First open your web browser and then go to steampower.com. Click install steam and then install steam again. It should auto choose whatever version the .deb since you're on Linux. And then open your explorer and go to downloads run steamlauncher.deb and then choose install. Okay, now Steam's installed, but it's got a lot of updates to do. So let's move this to the trash. We won't need it again. Now let's try to run Steam. And we have to hit enter for it to start loading the packages it needs. I'll speed this up as it goes. Okay, we have to hit enter one more time. And then we got to click Y for yes. And then I'm going to speed it up because it's got to download a bunch of dependencies. This is basically a fresh install of Linux Mint 21. It's also a slightly older version, but that doesn't matter. Then open your web browser again. Now let's go get the mod. I'm going to type in the direct URL, but I would recommend just clicking the link on my website. It's moddb.com slash mod slash the Stanley Parable with minus signs instead of spaces. And then you'd scroll down to the Stanley Parable version 1.4. And then click download choose the same version and then scroll down and the actual download buttons over here on the left right there give it a minute and it should pop up there it is and then just click Save now let's go under the downloads folder again which I should have left open we can close the website now right click and extract here then go in the folder, the Stanley Parable version 1.4. Go in the Stanley Parable folder right here if you already own the Stanley Parable. And go under gameinfo.txt, choose display. And then right here where it says game and then the Stanley Parable, add to the very end. Open parenthesis, HL2 mod version 1.4, close parenthesis or whatever you want for that, so you know which one's the actual mod and which one's the actual game. Okay, once that's done, go back. And then let's open a new window. I'm going to snap this window to the top right of the screen. I'm going to snap this to the bottom right of the screen. And then this one, the paths are listed on my website guide. You'll just want to go under there. If it's not visible, you're going to have to right click and click show hidden files. And then you should see .steam right here. And mine was in a folder .debian install, but yours might be somewhere else. I'll show you later how to find it if it is. Now let's open the web browser again. And we're going to snap this to the bottom left. And this to the top left. And now we'll go to my website guide. It's archelongaming.com slash guides slash the Stanley Parable Linux. And instead of spaces, it's minuses or dashes. And this is what it looks like as of the time of recording. It looks very different now. This is the URL right there, A-R-C-H-E-L-O-N-G-A-M-I-N-G dot C-O-M. And then if you click this link right here, instead of typing it in directly, it'll take you right to the download, so you don't have to do any of the other. You just scroll right down and click download now right here. But we've already done that, so let's speed up while it finishes 
installing some of this. And then while we wait, I'll show you what version of Linux I'm on. You can either go under system reports, but the basic one's under system info, so we'll go under that. And I'm on Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon. The latest as of the time of recording this is actually 21.3, but that's okay. And I've got a 16 core processor, which causes a problem that I'll show you how to fix later. Now we just wait for Steam to load. And I'm going to snap this to the left of the screen now. And there's a Steam update. Which is probably going to happen when you first install it. Now you'll want to scroll down in my article here because you're going to have to copy the Proton CPU topology command. Which is right here. It was step 8, but it's probably not anymore. I've since rewritten this article. Still waiting for Steam to finish real quick. Okay, there we go. And then sign into whatever your Steam account is which I'm just going to type out so you can see it as well. Sign into your Steam account! Exclamation. And then I'll just put something in our password, but it doesn't matter. And then log in. And this is a brand new Steam account because I wanted to show it works on anything. Now, you're going to want to go back under here and click on Source Base 2007 and then open Steam if you're using Brave. And then this will bring up the install. Just go ahead and click install. Ignore the yellow text, that's because I have Steam on another computer. I'm actually running this in a virtual machine so you can see it on a fresh install. We'll speed this up while it downloads. And there we go. Now once that's downloaded, I can see over here that the path is going to be different. So look up here where the search is and put a check on tools. And all of these just show up. This is a brand new Steam account, so I don't even have any of these games on here. Oops, it's not Steam, it's Source. And you should see Source SDK Base 2007. Right click and go to Properties. Or wait, no, sorry. First, right-click and go to Browse Local Files, because this is in a different location. I'll snap this to the bottom right. Now, it looks like it's also under Test. Well, Test is my username on here. It's also under lo dot .local, share, steam, and steam apps. If you can't find it, just right-click and view the location like I did. We need this folder right here called Source Mods. And then right click and copy the Stanley Parable. Right click and paste it into the Source Mods folder. And that won't actually show up until we restart Steam. I'll just show you real quick that it doesn't. So if you go under here and try to scroll and find it, you're not going to see anything but the defaults. And under Games it shows zero. Alright, let's type Source SDK again. There we go. Right click on this, now go under Properties. And first go under Compatibility, force the use of Proton 9 point whatever the version is. It's 9.0-2 on mine. And then Launch Options, you're going to want to copy this right here. Or you can type it in if you feel like it. Right click, Copy. I do that just so you can see it on the screen. Right click, Paste. And you don't need the dash console, but it shows you errors, which is nice. Okay, and then click update on here because we forced it to use Proton 9.0, which hasn't been installed yet. Now it's been installed. Okay, so let's close Steam. take just a moment and let's reopen it we can minimize that now and we can actually close this window right here because we've already extracted and copied it this one I'm just gonna minimize 
And this one you can close if it's open. Okay, Steam started back up. Go under Library. And then now it should appear. So if you uncheck Tools, the only thing that'll show up is this mod. The Stanley Parable HL2 mod version 1.4, which is what I named it in the file. Paste the command here. The Proton CPU topology again. And then choose Compatibility Proton 9. This hack is required if you have more than 8 cores or through hyperthreading you have more than 8, which my computer does. Hyperthreading I have 32. And then click Start. If that pops up, just click wait. And then here you go. This is the original Stanley Parable mod. There's the console. You can just close it. We'll click new game. And then start new game. And I'll turn up the this volume. Is the story of a man named and here Stanley. you go. Well, that's all there is to it. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. And I'm going to just end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.